hope that moves on don't live in the past when facing life's hardships or the labor of living on we may prefer to look back to the future through the rear view mirror let's go back to where we were you may avoid responsibility or shun the effort of being resourceful and responsible escaping into the past you may tend to assume the attitudes that you had when you were a child when new situations with their demand disturb you may tend to run away from this pain in his novel deceiver the popular writer frederick forsyth illustrates such common flight with an episode an older german gentleman spy falls in love with a younger woman he later kills her because of her infidelity and then he disappears the novel protagonist sam mccready consults a psychiatrist about the possible reaction this fellow spy may have since he needs him to complete a job the ensuing dialogue illustrates the point fogu dr car pursued as he speared a forkful of a tender soul menu array means flight flight from reality especially harsh and pleasant yet i think your man will by now be in a really bad way what will he actually do ask my crandy will he where will he go he will go to a century somewhere he feels safe somewhere he can hide where all the problems will go when people will leave him alone he may even return to a child like state i had a patient once who overcame by problems returned to a bed curled into the fetal position stuck his stuff in his mouth and stayed there wouldn't come out child like you see safety security no problems excellent soul by the way each every day offers you new opportunity to open up your life to something new don't miss the present by living the fantasies of the past make your choice winning is a habit so also is losing in our hands is given a power for good or evil the silent unconscious unseen influence of this life there are two ways to every soul they openeth a new highway and a, a low the high soul climbs the highway whereas the low soul grops the low and in between on the misty flats the rest drift to and fro to every soul they open a, a high way and a low and every man decide which way his soul shall go william barclay wrote it is the difference between the disciplined and the undisciplined way between the hard and the easy way between the thoughtful and the thoughtless way here we come to the heart of the matter no one would take the easy the short the undisciplined way if he only thought everything in this world has to aspect how it looks at the moment and how it will look in the time to come the easy way may look very inviting at the moment and the hard way may look very daunting the only way to get our values right is to see and not the beginning but the end of the way to see things not the light of time but in the light of eternity perseverance and patience perseverance is the virtue that makes all efforts and methods fruitful a man who keeps uh, pegging away and refuses to give in until he has succeeded in a man who has in himself more than he can see The condition for perseverance is a joyful courage and a firm hope to win. The definition of genius is not an exaggeration. Genius is an infinite capacity for taking pains. Consider the wise experience of Jacob Riis as he described it, when nothing ceased to help, I go and look at the stone cutter, hammering away at a rock perhaps a hundred times without as much as crack showing in it. yet as the 101st blow it will split into and i know it was not the blow that did it but all that had gone before hope sparks confidence faith starts up off and it is hope that keeps it going in an undertaking in life it is important to realize little lacks of hope can awaken life giving confidence in yourself and others confidence begets confidence in a saying we all know to be true hope assumes responsibility uplifts the heart and enriches the spirit raises faith in the future and makes dreams come true hope enlightens the darkness of the day and does not allow us to be conditioned by our surroundings faith keeps our and hope keeps our ideals high and does not permit to block us in the dullness of daily living and does not permit self withdrawal diogenes called hope the dream on waking man when i was a beggarly boy and i lived in a, a cellar dam i uh, had not a friend nor a toy but i had an aladdin lamp when i could not sleep for cold i had a fire enough in my brain and builded with roofs of gold my beautiful castles in spain a story of hope if you are going to have success you need the virtue of confidence to stand up take courage and take the fight anas hemingway in a farewell to arms says that the world breaks everyone then some become strong at the broken places this is the sort of strength you need self knowledge is the first step to personal growth Terry Fox was 22 when he undertook a strenuous trans-Canadian marathon of hope to raise funds for cancer research. What made this run so special was that in 1977, after it was discovered that he he had a rare form of both cancer, most 
of her one leg had to be amputated and it was while recovering that he got this idea for the marathon after months of training he began his run at st john bc on april 12 1980 in thunder bay at first his story was given a few lines on the back page of canadian newspaper by the time he had finished he had inspired millions of people all the world helping to raise about 24.7 million dollars for research in the process although he was dying terry fox found the strength to do something positive a life with hope he made this last year on earth a meaningful exciting adventure and died a national hero on june 28 1981 appreciate yourself you are special as everybody else is but you are not yet finished if you grow in age you should also grow in wisdom the first step to personal growth in self knowledge second is self confidence appreciate yourself and your talents and you are capable the way you are respect yourself simple happy and fully alive love yourself fully be happy to spend time by yourself and thinking things over smile and say i'm glad i'm me celebrate yourself but keep your emotions both positive and negative under control morris west a popular writer writes it costs so much to be a full human being that there are few who have the enlightenment or courage to pay the price one has to abandon altogether the the search for security and reach out to the risk of living with both arms one has to embrace the world like a lover one has to accept pain as a condition of existence one has to count uh, doubt and darkness at the cost of knowing one has a uh, need a will to uh, stubborn in conflict but apt always to the total acceptance of every consequence of living and dying the project for happiness is manuel j costa writes that happiness is all tied up with growth i feel happy at peace and self fulfilled to the extent that i feel that i am really growing as a human being as a good person he suggests eight ways to grow as a happy person happy are they who develop a healthy self appreciation and self confidence the ancient commandment reads that love your neighbor as you love yourself a proper love of self is good and necessary each of us must learn to appreciate our own goodness and uniqueness happy are those who question everything we learn more when we ask why and seek to search out the reasons of things only who seeks will find and too often we take our presuppositions for granted and go along in the same old groove Happy are those who know how to listen. Listening, like questioning, is mind opener. As someone said, God gave us two ears and only one mouth because He wants us to listen twice as much as we talk. Happy are those who are honest about their feelings and can accept them. All of us are a mixture of darkness and light, and weakness and strength. We must learn to admit our feelings, all of them, first to ourselves and then who, uh, who are appropriate to some trusted others. The happy are those who have put themselves in others' uh, place. Entering into the other's world and viewing reality as much as possible from his standpoint will enable us to be more tolerant and forgiving. Happy are they who maintain a sense of humor when we can laugh at our own fo- foibles and see them in the wider perspective of our total life. We'll be able to keep alive as a healthy spontaneity and enthusiasm. The person who takes himself too seriously is bound to get discouraged. Happy are those who live in the present. The only moment we have in which and with which it work is this moment now and we must learn then to savor each moment whether it be a one of joy or pain happy are those who hope and there is no one among us that does not experience hurt and failure growth happens in our life when we keep on hoping despite the recurring failures the only real sin that consists not in falling down but in not trying to get up again grow in hope The dictionary will tell us that hope is an expectation of something desired a confident anticipation of something to come hope is an unpretentious virtue but but very active hope is like a child in a family of grown up people it seems that they do everything in the family in fact they certainly do everything but they would not work and move if not for the presence of the child it is indeed the simple and unstudied ch- child who is held by the hand that sustains the tired grown ups Leo Buscaglia the writer of many popular books right as long as we have hope we have the direction and the energy to move and the map also to move by we have a hundred alternatives a thousand paths and infinity of dreams and hopeful we are halfway to where we want to go and hopeless we are lost forever there's a real growth in maturity and true success when we form a program of life in the following hopeful dimensions to be true to one's spontaneity to what one sets out to do to be true to every feeling and through thought that have started to germinate to be true to the fullest sense of the word to be true to god and to one's own best moments hope is a must without hope of greatness and a brighter future life perishes 
Terry Tilhar de, de Chardin, a mystic and a philosopher, writes well about this. Let so called exact and critical thinkers say that the new generation is less naive than the last and no longer believes in a future and the world being made perfect. Have the people who write such things thought of the fact that all movement of the mind would cease on earth if they were right? They seem to believe that life would calmly go on even if they were robbed of light, hope, and the lure of inexhaustible future. Perhaps it would still produce blooms and fruit for a few years out of sheer habit. But his trunk would already be separated from the roots. Even if mankind had enormous amount of material energy available without his, this love of life, it would soon no longer want to work at a task that it knew was hopelessly damned. Wounded in the source of its energy, disgust or rebellion would make the mankind disintegrate and fall to dust. Hope looks for the good in people instead of harping on the worst. Hope discovers what can be done instead of grumbling about what cannot. Hope lights the candles instead of cursing the darkness. Hope pushes ahead when it, it might be easy to quit. F hope opens the doors where despair closes them. Hope carries on in spite of heartaches. Hope accepts tragedy with faith and courage. Strategies for growth in hope. Formation is lifelong. The virtue of hope makes for the process of maturing for a growing process into a determined character. The creative person is always new, fresh and resourceful. He puts in action his desire of growing, his capacity for wondering, his ability for making new every day. Psychologist Eric Erickson enumerates four strengths which work from childhood to adulthood for the few maturity. The first of these strengths is hope, which Erickson defines as the enduring belief in the attainability of fervent wishes in spite of the dark urge and the rages that mark the beginning of existence. The second strength is will, the unbrokable determination to exercise free choice as well as self-restraint in spite of the unavoidable. Experience of shame, doubts in the infancy. The third of Erickson's strength is purpose, which he defines as the courage to envisage and pursue valued goals uninhibited by the defeat and assumes the ability to look ahead and the power to persevere in a chosen direction. The last of the four truths uh, in comp is competence, that is, a free exercise intelligence in the completion of the tasks which at times prove difficult. Number of skills which are important, which we must acquire, there are social skills summed up in good manners. There are intellectual skills, the foundation which are laid in the three R's, and there are manual skills, the learning to work with hands and do job efficiently. But the four of the importance uh, all through life. Today is another day in which anything can happen. Another day to be alive, useful, helped, and to be a bit of climbing. Another day to grow in gentleness, to increase in knowledge, to spread cheerfulness, to develop character, to stretch out a helping hand, to hold the valiant head. To lengthen the forward stride and another day to hope and to love. Another day to add to each and every one's uh, store of happiness. Communicate hope. Man or social being lives in a family and society exists because he receives love and support from the others and he lives primarily for others. Tennyson in his poem, Alice's uh, says that I am part of all that I have met. Another author writes, knowing people, admiring and loving them and learning what makes them what they are has been a large part of my education and my motivation as well. Understanding has lead to a new state of self-confidence so necessary if you have to take your place in society. This is an old saying, it is more blessed to give than to receive. You communicate your hope by living it and does your way of living generate self-reliance, optimism, enthusiasm, joy, fidelity, courage and industry. What are you communicating far from more eloquently than anything you say or do? Have a lamp in your heart, in your hand and on your lips. May a lamp shine in your heart for you. May a lamp shine in your hand and on your lips for your neighbor. The lamp in your heart is the generosity of your faith. The lamp in your hand is the example of a good action. The lamp on your lips is the enlightening word. Dr. Norman P. L. A. writes that another factor in getting people to like you is to practice building up the ego of other persons. Whomever you help to build up and become a better, stronger, finer person will give you his undying devotion. Build up as many people as you can and do it unselfishly. unselfishly. Do it because you like them and because you see possibilities in them. Do this and you will never lack friends. You will always be well thought of. Build people up and love them genuinely. Do them good and their esteem and affection will flow back towards you.